I didn't originally set out to buy makeup brushes from AliExpress. I was on there trying to buy clothes and handbags and things like that. And when I was searching for pastel things, a particular makeup brush set popped up and it was incredibly cheap and I thought to myself, that looks too good to be true. But it's also cheap enough that if it's crap, I don't mind. So I bought it. And then I, as I was browsing on that particular page, there was a little recommended section. And I realized that there are so many makeup brushes on AliExpress. So I bought a couple of different sets and we're gonna have a look at all of them today. I used as many of them as physically possible to achieve this look that I have right now. If you don't have time to watch the whole video, my summary is makeup brushes from AliExpress are amazing. <laughs> AliEx, heck yes. Now we have a range of brushes here from extremely, extremely cheap to somewhat expensive, but totally worth it. This is the first set that I picked up. There's four brushes in this set and this was only $11. That's Australian dollars, so that might be seven or eight US dollars. Now, I was so impressed with these brushes, as you'll see. Basically, there's four brushes here. You have a large powder brush for the face. There's a foundation brush with this really unusual little divot on it, where you're meant to dispense the foundation. Then there's a packing brush and a smudging brush. The same seller also sold this brush, which is kind of like a little kabuki foundation brush. This one was $5.50 Australian dollars, so probably $4, $3.50 or so US dollars. The bristles are very dense, but they're very, very soft. They are so soft. And I just love the pastel ombre sort of pink to blue transition. I think this is so cute. I also picked up this three piece set, which is, hey, no three little love hearts like this. We've had this discussion before on my channel, but if you're new here and you're not Australian, we call these love hearts in Australia. Apparently that's weird. We don't just call it a heart because a heart is the thing in your chest. The love heart is the little love heart. I don't know how else to explain it. It's, it's a love heart. It's the symbol for love. So these are love heart brushes. This little set here was $13. I believe that this one is supposed to be a foundation brush. I think that this is a contour brush and this is a blush brush. This set was on sale when I bought it. It is a beautiful pastel rainbow set of five pieces. Now this was down from 50 Australian dollars to about 25 Australian dollars. I got it half price at the time. There's a whole bunch of different variations of this brush set. You can get a huge set that has, I think it's got like 20 pieces and it's got a brush for absolutely everything that you need. I don't have a firm grasp of makeup brush shapes and styles and what they're intended for, but I'm taking a guess. I believe this is a contour brush, a blush brush, an angled brush for powder or bronzing, a fan brush, and a flat top kabuki. My experience with this brand is every single brush is incredibly soft and so, so well made. I couldn't believe that these were from AliExpress. They are literally the nicest brushes I've ever used. I could be exaggerating a tiny bit, but bear in mind, I'm relatively new at makeup and I haven't used many brushes, but I did spend over $200 on the Jaclyn Hill full master face collection. And I like all of these brushes more than I liked any of those. Morphe's made in China. These are made in China. These are far more beautiful than anything from Morphe and they're probably a similar price. There was also one more brush that was separate, but it is still part of this collection. This is also by Do Color. It's a little love heart foundation brush. I think that this is for foundation. However, I've never used brushes like this before, so I'm not entirely sure, but I have seen people on Instagram using them to put foundation on. This is just the cutest little brush I've ever seen. Now the bristles are extremely, extremely soft. This little brush was $4.90 in Australian dollars, and that is very cheap. That's probably only $3 US. Honestly, it, this had free shipping too. So the difference between AliExpress and Wish, AliExpress often has free shipping, whereas Wish, they might mark items as free, but nothing on Wish is ever actually free because you always pay for shipping. There's no such thing as free shipping on Wish, but on AliExpress there is. So I got this for $3, didn't even have to pay shipping. The shipping thing does differ depending on what country you're located in. Australia and China have some sort of trade agreement, so we can get something called an e-parcel, which is Oh, e-packet or something like that and it's basically free to receive but different countries do have different shipping issues I do remember someone telling me that they went to buy a jacket that I recommended from AliExpress and the shipping was 
$2,000 because they don't ship to that country. But if you're in the States or Australia or the UK or some European countries, you should be able to shop on AliExpress, no problem. The next brush set that I picked up was this one. Based on the images, I thought that this was a copy of those Lime Crime brushes, you know, the ones that are full of glitter. But unfortunately, when they arrived, I realized that they're completely empty and the sparkles on the inside are totally loose. Now that is very, very cheap and tacky and I don't like that at all. But for $13, I got so many brushes. There was a really nice assortment of eye brushes, ranging from flat eye brushes to domed to pencil brushes. Then there was a variation of face brushes as well, such as the flat top kabuki, this one and this one, and because I'm a noob, I have no idea what they're intended to be used for. But in this video, you'll see that I just use them for all sorts of random things. There are 12 brushes in the set and for $13 that brings it to just a little bit over $1 per brush. I was really, really impressed with how they applied my eye makeup. I'll give you a little close up. This is my eye makeup at the moment. I only used the brushes from AliExpress today. I didn't use any other brushes. So my face, my blush, everything, as you'll see, it's all these brushes. So let's jump into the video and I'll show you guys how everything applied with these brushes. Okay, so I'm going to start off just using a Smashbox primer. And I'm going to take this one. Now, this is really unusual. I haven't seen a brush like this before. I've seen them online, but I've never used one. It's got a little divot in it there, and it's supposed to be a foundation brush. So I think you're supposed to put the foundation in that little hole there, and then you're supposed to apply it. But seeing as I have so many foundation brushes, I'm going to try this one with my primer. I kind of personally feel like it's just a little bit of a gimmick. Okay, well, let's, let's see if it makes any difference. The bristles are somewhat soft on my skin. I can't tell at the moment, but I feel like it's kind of absorbing a lot of the product, unless it's just blending it out that well into my skin. See, the brush feels dry, but it doesn't feel like there's very much product on my skin, so that's really strange. You know what? Maybe I will give this a go with foundation. So I have a couple of foundation brushes. So I've got this one, which is like a flat love heart, flat paddle brush or something. I have this one, which is like a dome top kabuki, I guess you'd say. And then there's that one. So the foundation I'm gonna be using today is this Huda foundation. I've never used this before. So what I might do is just divide my face up into thirds. Maybe I'll do my forehead with this wacky thing. So we'll pop that in the center there. I never, ever, ever, oh! Oh wow, this is so high coverage. Heck. I never use a brush for my foundation. I stopped doing that a long time ago. I've been using a beauty sponge for a very long time. Wow, this is not my shit. Kids, color match in store. Don't trust the website. This is leaving streak marks, absolutely. And it doesn't seem to be blending it out very well. This was meant to be a foundation brush. That is what it's supposed to be used for. Oh, nose piercing. It's looking very streaky. So I might switch brushes. I'll switch over to this one and I'll try to blend this out a little bit. Oh, okay. That just kind of seems to be removing the product from my skin. Forehead is not looking good. I'm going to try this one. Okay, well, without a doubt, that one worked the best. Please ignore the fact that this is way, way, way too pale for me. I'm sorry. So this one gets a thumbs up. Okay, next up is concealer. And I would, again, normally blend out my concealer with a beauty blender, but today I'm gonna use a ColourPop concealer and this, now this is from that fake news, not actually liquid brush set. Mate, you're gonna ruin my foundation. Don't touch, no touch. I'll put this under my eyes. Try to blend this out under my eyes a little bit. Might try this one to blend out my concealer. Okay, well it might not be intended for blending out concealer, but it did work to an extent. Okay, now I'm gonna set my under eyes. Now, I don't think this is meant for setting under eyes, but I'm gonna give it a try just because I really like the shape of it, and I kind of feel like it'll get in under my eyes really easily. So I'm just gonna use a Holika Holika, this is a Korean brand, I'm gonna use, go away. I'm gonna use this setting powder. This is what I would normally use to bake my under eyes, but I would normally just take it on one of these little puffs. 
Okay, well that worked pretty well. I don't know what I expected. I didn't really think that it would be very different to any other powder brush that I've used. But I'm going to take this Marc Jacobs powder and I'm going to use this one. Now this is marketed as a powder brush. It's huge. The bristles are so, so soft. Touching it, you almost don't feel like you're touching anything at all. It is so soft. I'm going to try and contour. So I'll just use a Colourpop contour. And I have two options here. I have this Dew Colour flat, I guess. This is this is a contour brush, right? I'm fairly sure it is. And then there's also this one, which is a little love heart and it's angled. Maybe I'll use one on each side. This is, you know, we're, we're getting wild here today. So I'll just... I have never used one of these flat brushes before. Oh, the bristles are so soft. <gasps> okay, wow. Whoops. Hugh Jackman. I kind of feel like the bristles on this are so soft that it's almost inconvenient how flimsy it is. So I might switch over to this one, this little love heart, and just, ah uh, yeah, so this has really, really stiff bristles. Now these bristles are soft, but they're, they're firm, but they're extremely soft. So it's not irritating or scratching my skin or anything like that. That's probably tugging my face a little bit much, as you can see. Okay, well I'll have to fix that with baking powder. I'll just try this again, but I'll just tap in really lightly this time. You know what? I feel like with practice, I could really get used to this brush. It's actually really pleasant. It's a really unusual experience. I've never used a brush like this before with such, such soft bristles. Oh, hello. Okay, that side worked out a lot better than that side. Okay, my contour is going to be a little bit uneven today, but I'm fine with that. You know, no, one, no one's perfect, <laughs> except Archie. I'm new to that whole nose contour thing, but I'll, I'll give it a try. As little product as I can. Oh. Look, when you've got a nose like mine, no amount of contour can save you, so I might just give up there. I feel like if I practice with this a little bit more, I'll get used to it. The bristles are just so soft. They are literally so soft that I just wasn't prepared for the way that it was going to apply the contour, but it's really pleasant to use. I don't know about for buffing this out necessarily, but it is nice for applying the contour and then maybe using a different product to buff the contour out a little bit. So next I'm going into blush. I'm gonna use a Milani blush. This is Blossom Time Rose. Thank you, Tati, for the recommendation. So this one is a Dew Color. I think that this is a blush brush. I mean, it, it looks like a blush brush. Can I help you? Yes, it is green. Yes. So I'll swirl the brush around a little bit, tap off the excess. It's not picking up as much product as I thought that it would, so I'll just dip into the pan a little bit harder. Or maybe, no, I won't dip into the pan harder. I feel like that's how mistakes happen. How about I just dip into the pan lightly again, like I did before, and I'll just keep building. This is, oh, this is really, really nice. This is so soft. Wow. I'm shook. I'm the shookest right now. This is so good. I feel like it's applying the blush in a really, really soft, gentle way. Remember, this is quite a natural sort of toned blush. I, I didn't want to go in with some sort of like hot pink or something like that. One, because that wouldn't suit my skin tone, but also two, because I'm not familiar with the brush, I just don't know how it would apply the blush on my face, whether it would be too intense. But this is looking really, really subtle, really natural. This is my new go-to blush brush for sure. Okay, highlight. Now I'm nervous about this because I'm doing this, I'm gonna use this Dew Color gigantic fan brush. I would normally use a little tiny brush like this for highlight. So what I might do is use this one to go on the cheekbones and then use this smaller one to do a more targeted highlight like on the nose and on the cupid's bow. So I'll just use a J-Star Skin Frost. And the reason I chose this one is purely because the pan is so big that the, the brush will actually fit. Some of my other highlights, I thought that if I went in with this gigantic fan brush, I would just abuse the pan and ruin the highlights. So I'll just use this one. Wow. That's really pleasant to use. Okay, I'm just gonna use this Do Color kind of angled brush just to sweep away the under eye powder. I'll just try and buff it out a little bit too. I'm still learning, I'm very, very, very new to makeup. If you see me using something wrong, just let me know. I feel like this could possibly work for highlight because it's this nice sort of fine 
domed brush. Okay, so I'll just take this one and dip back into the skin frost. And I might try and use this just on my Cupid's bow. You're right, stop it. Let go. Hey, can I help you? Never mind. We already had the issue of the fact that they looked like they were full of liquid, but they weren't. And now they're falling off. They're just breaking in midair. So, uh, thanks Archie. Thanks for pointing that out to me. Thanks for bringing that to my attention. So I do really like this one. I don't know about any of the others for highlight. I feel like this is the only one that's really intended for that sort of use. So I do give this one a pass as well. It's really nice. I just feel like it's really, really soft in the way that it's fluffing it out. It's really like, melding into my skin. It's really nice. Okay, now eyes. I'm gonna use a MAC Paint Pot in Painterly and I might just try and use this brush that I was attempting to put the concealer on with. I'm a little bit nervous about using these brushes on my eyes just because of the fact that that other one fell apart. I mean, I'm going to use them seeing as I bought them and I'm not one to waste products. Like, I'm not gonna just toss something out because one of them was not working very well. Okay, that worked really well to apply that base. I'm very happy with that because it actually picked up the product really, really well. It's fluffed it out on my lids and it's not streaky or anything, so that's nice. There are two brushes from this gradient set that this one here is supposed to be for laying down the base eyeshadow. And then this one is called a smudger. I'll just use this ColourPop palette. I have a couple of these brushes too. There's a whole bunch of eye brushes here. Where's a fluffy one? Here's a very, very fluffy looking one. Just pop down a base. Okay, now I'm gonna try out this one. This is a domed brush. Just deepen that up. So to give you some context, I bought the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Master Brush Collection, and that's the first brush collection that I've ever bought. I've never owned a full brush collection. So I've been enjoying using it to an extent. I don't think that the brushes are very good quality, to be honest but I do appreciate the variety that I got with the set. Okay, now I use this palette because I've used this palette before and I know the sort of results that I can get with it when I use my Jaclyn Hill brush collection. So at least I have something to go off. I'll take this one, which is a little angled brush and I'll just try and deepen up the outer corner. Archie, no, Archie, Archie, put that down. No, I don't want to use, I've already used that one. Let go. Okay, I'm liking this one. This one is helping me to blend out this darker color quite easily. Okay, now I'm gonna use this one, which is a teeny tiny little, kind of like a pencil brush. I'll highlight my brow bone. Now I'm not gonna cut the crease because there's no brush anywhere in sight that is appropriate for cutting the crease. So I'll just try and take a little kind of like a packing brush and I'm going into one of these nice shimmery shades. I'll take that same shade that I put on my brow bone and I'll just apply that to the inner corner. Man, I don't know what I was doing in my life without ColourPop eyeshadow palettes. Okay, I really, really, really like this brush a lot. It's so gentle on my eyes, but it's also applying the color very, very evenly. So I really like that. I might just use that same brush and just take a slightly deeper shade just on the center here. This is really helping to blend these two shades together so easily. I'm very, very impressed. Something that I have to say, like one of these brushes did fall apart when Archie pulled on it, which was really annoying. But at the same time, they are so soft and they are blending these products together so well. I, I'm very conflicted. I'm very, very conflicted about these. I'm just taking a slightly different shape now and I'm going to deepen up the outside. So I've just got a nice gradient going on. Okay, now I'm gonna take this, which is like a, a flat brush. I have one of these from the Jaclyn Hill collection. It's covered in concealer right now, but see how thin it is? See, it's very, very, very thin. 
whereas this one is quite thick. See how thick that is? But I'm going to try and use this to apply some product to the lower lash line. Okay, I feel like this is going to be my new go-to lower lash line brush because I'm really liking the way that this is smoking it out. Sometimes I find with the Jaclyn Hill one that I use, it's flat, but it's a little bit stiff and I find that it doesn't blend, it just applies. So that one by Jaclyn Hill is really good for just stamping product in place. But this one is actually really, really good for buffing and fluffing. Hey! Can you not? Those are not for chewing. Let go! Let go! Get off! Archie! Archie, no! Get... Uh, Archie! I do not believe this. Okay, now I'm going to take this one, which is from this little gradient set. This is just like a... I mean, it, it was marketed as a base brush, but for me, it's a little bit too small for applying eyeshadow on the lid. So I'm just gonna use it to slightly smoke out this lower lash line, just with a slightly lighter color. In summary, from all of those brushes that I just used, I am very, 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 very impressed. Very, 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 very impressed. So what I'm gonna do is blend this out a tiny little bit more than I will put on my brows, some eyeliner, mascara, lashes, and I will be back soon to give you my final thoughts. Okay guys, that's everything. So to summarize, my favorite brushes of the day were probably the Eater brush. I think this is called an Eater brush. I adore the fan brush as well from this set. There's multiple different variations of this set. You can buy different types of brushes, different styles, different sized kits. Buy this set in any variation at all, and I promise you, you will not be disappointed. They are beautiful. My other favorite brush was this one from this set. Now this, I felt, was the best out of all of the foundation brushes that I used, but I will have to give them another try because that is the first time that I've used that Huda foundation. If I had used my regular foundation, I would have been able to give a more accurate sort of idea of how those other two brushes performed. I also thoroughly enjoy this powder brush. Oh, so does Archie. This is a beautiful, beautiful brush. It is so fluffy, so soft. I think Archie likes it. What? I have a feeling he thinks it's a third. Hey, no. This was definitely one of my favorite brushes. It's so soft, it just caresses the face and it almost feels like you're not even touching your face at all. I'm not joking, perfect for powder. And if you're the sort of person that uses bronzer, I think this would also be perfect for that as well. I also do have to give a shout out to these brushes. As crappy and horrible as they feel, I'm not joking, they feel like the worst brushes on the planet. They applied my eye makeup in such an incredible way. I know I gave you a close up already, but let's have another look. Archie doesn't like my false lashes. See how the eyeshadow I personally feel like it's blended out to perfection. Well, that's perfection for me. My version of perfection is probably very, very different to, to anyone else's version of perfection. For me, perfection is, it doesn't look like complete and utter crap. But I am really, really, really happy with how this blended out. I'm gonna be using these brushes all the time until they fall apart. We did have a, a bit of a fiasco here. That is nothing that super glue can't fix. I can probably just put a little bit of glue around the ring here and just pop it back on, but you don't wanna to have to be doing that. I'm pulling on all of these others and they're not breaking. So I feel like that was just a freak accident to be honest, but in terms of uh, applying eye makeup, I used a cheap palette. You know, that was a ColourPop palette. This was only like 20 bucks or something. I can't remember, but this is a very cheap palette. So look, if you're in America, these brushes are less than a dollar each. So. Honestly, my final verdict is honk, honk, that's right. My final verdict is you should absolutely buy brushes from AliExpress. My one tip is when you're shopping, check the ratings, have a look, there's always a little thing that says how many people have purchased it, how many people have ordered it. If it hasn't been ordered ever, I would just be a little bit more cautious, but you can always tell because the orders that are like, you know, 5,000 people have ordered this item and the rating is 4.9 stars, you can't go wrong. Definitely check out this brand on AliExpress, this Do Color. Cannot rave about it highly enough. I'm not kidding, not joking. I'm a beginner, I'm a rookie. Some people don't listen to anything that I say because they're like, you're not good enough at makeup for me to take your opinion as 
a serious one, but I can tell you when brushes perform better than other brushes. I paid over $200 for the Jaclyn Hill Morphe brush collection, but I'm gonna be using these brushes so much more than any of those Jaclyn Hill brushes just because I felt like they blended things out far nicer. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you like birds. See, what is there not to like? He's a sweet boy and he just wants you to subscribe. That's all, just subscribe for Archie. <laughs>